Hey everyone, my name is Cameron Latif and this is my graphics final project for computer graphics course. So what my project is about, um, so I decided to build a high resolution infinite terrain. So I really love the assignment that we did, specifically homework 10, where we added a post-processing effect to the terrain. So I wanted to take that a step further by finding an even larger image online and then have it be very high quality. So ultimately, like, um, so I found an image from this website that I listed here, and my goal was to have an image, have it be very bright and colorful, and then have this terrain always be permanent generated, rather than having an effect on it, to have it be infinitely generated. Upon launching the executable, you could spawn into the terrain on the ground level. As you can see here, there is a cool water flow effect I implemented, now my code has some additional features such as modes. The first mode you respond into is called walk mode. In walk mode you are unable to pass through the terrain and here you can see that I'm scaling the mountain. However there are some instances where it gets glitchy but in most cases you shouldn't be able to walk through it. Now if I push Z I can toggle flight mode. Here you are able to pass through the terrain so as I fly I can move the camera using my mouse or using the up down left right keys. Pressing shift also allows me to move higher and you can see um, you can go as high as you'd like. If I were to press right control, you can move lower. And then finally, uh, pressing Z allows you to move in reverse. So now I'm demonstrating, you know, moving forward that you can see that this terrain will always be infinitely generated. Uh, I also implemented a fog-like effect where the mountains at a distance have a fog effect. And as you go closer, it disappears and what's near is lightened. Um, there's also a skybox, and finally, if I want to toggle walk mode, it'll drop me onto the ground where I'm at. And again, walk mode is enabled by pressing Z, just how you enable flight mode, so you can toggle in between the two. So the biggest technical achievement in this project was this process terrain function, as well as it was the hardest to get right. So my idea for an infinite terrain was to process terrain data by splitting and shrinking images based on certain parameters and then connecting them together based on boundary conditions. However, when I ran my code, I noticed there were always gaps in the image. So the biggest issue was having to figure out how to split it. Initially, I was doing all of my terrain stuff in one single process. However, I experimented and I found out that creating two separate levels and doing the splitting on each level was the way to solve my issue. Here I left in comments my thought process of how to go about it as well as I left my print statements because those really helped me debug. I also took great use of assert statements in my project to always check for values. But essentially here I create an empty vector of image objects VO and an image object IMO. Then I assign space in the image vectors and store images based on the values um, either level 1 or level 2. Then I split that base image into smaller images and store them in arrays and then finally connecting the images and checking the boundaries in the later process as this code describes here. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed my infinite terrain project. It was really fun to do. Thank you for watching.